And here we go. The Dolphins are making a splash in free agency, finally getting a dog here. And according to Jeremy Fowler, the Dolphins are signing cornerback Kendall Fuller to a two-year, $16.5 million deal. And this is massive, right? We know that the Dolphins just recently let go of Xavier Howard, leaving a big uh, you know, spot to fill in that DB room. Now, obviously, Kendall Fuller is the best cornerback on the market, and now he's going to Miami to pair up with Jalen Ramsey. Now, in this video, we're going to talk everything you know about Kendall Fuller, everything you need to know about Kendall Fuller. But also, before we get into that, do me a favor and subscribe if you're new. It is free, doesn't cost anything, and leave a letter grade in the comment section on how you feel or a letter grade depending on what you think the Dolphins offseason has been so far. Now, obviously, they go out and bring in a starting center in Aaron, Aaron Brewer. They bring in a starting tight end in Jonu Smith. Neville Gallimore looks like he could be a starter. Jordan Brooks, Jordan Poyer, right? They've added like five new starters. And now Kendall Fuller, he looks like he could be another starter for this defense going into next season. Now, with that being said, if you guys want me to break down the entire offseason for the Dolphins so far, comment down below the number one. But with that being said, let's dive right into Kendall Fuller. Now, like we said, the first thing you notice about Kendall Fuller is his extreme abilities to intercept passes. Now, over his career, the man has 16 interceptions, over 486 tackles, 366 of those have been solo, but he also has two sacks, two forced fumbles, two fumble recoveries, as well as 75 passes defended. He's also a cornerback who's not afraid to take a risk. Now, you see it on this play specifically against Davis Mills. We have an out route here to the corner and he jumps it right and not a lot of cornerbacks in the NFL love to make this play they like to be conservative but Kendall Fuller has the instincts to jump routes and take it all the way for pick sixes okay so that is one thing you're adding here in Kendall Fuller but this man has been consistent while doing it right last year two interceptions 2022 three interceptions back to 2020 four interceptions the, the man has been absolutely incredible throughout his NFL career and now you land in Miami where they desperately needed a cornerback right now, again, easy interception, easy reads. That's what you love to see. Now, like we said, Miami losing Xavier Howard, you pair this guy as a cornerback too, alongside Jalen Ramsey. I mean, where are teams going to throw the football? And then you think about it like this. They got J Javon Holland in the secondary as well at the, at the safety spot, right? You bring in a Jordan Poyer. You have Cam Smith, who can not only be a starter this year, but he can slowly start to develop under Jalen Ramsey and now Kendall Fuller. So not only is he a guy you can start from day one, but he's a guy that can be a locker room leader, 29 years old. He's been here, done that right been been in the nfl for a while now and now he offers the ability to develop some young guys as well i mean this is a huge signing not only for you know a great deal two years right but also the fact of what he can bring to your team in the future as well i mean this is huge you look at a miami defense last year who ranked number 22 in completion percentage allowed yeah that number is going to go down with kendall fuller they also allowed or had a per, uh, 16 or ranked 16 in terms of opposing interception percentage is thrown yeah that's gonna go up as well as pass yards allowed per game they're about middle of the pack i'm telling you right now kendall fuller is a massive upgrade with this defense they've done such a good job jordan brooks a mike linebacker day one starter anthony walker some more veteran help shaquille barrett is gonna be huge as Jalen Phillips returns from his injury. Dude, Miami is having a great year, a great offseason, and they are just getting started. Just imagine what they're going to continue to do, continue to build. Wow, I mean, Miami, you got to give them a round of applause because they have done an excellent job in building this roster for next season, and they might even be contenders to win it all in 2024, 2025. Now, real quickly, comment down below, what do you think they need to do next in terms of this offseason, I feel like they need to add another nose tackle as well as maybe another safety. But other than that, some wide receivers and this team is ready to compete for next season. I am so excited to see what they do next because quite frankly, they are just getting started. Kendall Fuller, a great signing for Miami. 